thing. They've gone 18 for 51, 35% from the field. Of course, this on the heels of that 33% shooting performance in Seattle a couple nights ago. Howard will try a three. That one spins off. Gray fighting for the board, lost it out of bounds. We're under a minute left, and the Sparks are up by 10. How about this performance from L.A.? And Ryan Howard, who went three of, excuse me, six of 12 in the first meeting from deep, five of nine in the second, just three of nine, not really able to get in any sort of rhythm with an aspect of her game that is so lethal. And they're going to get a foul here. It's going to be a foul or a jump ball? It's going to be a foul. Foul charge to Alicia Gray. And so for Gray, that's number six. So her night is done. Gray finishes with eight points. Half of those came from the line where she was perfect. Four boards, four assists tonight as well for Gray. But we talked about her. We talked about how, how great those two were against the Sparks this season entering tonight. Both well be below their averages as Clarendon gets the free throw to go. Howard averaging 29 points in the first two games. Great 19 points in the first two games. They've got 17 and 8 respectively tonight, Allie. Look, it's hard to beat a team once in the WNBA, let alone three times. They've done it twice, but it's been a great response. That film work and adjustments from the Sparks here in game number three. So McDonald gets the bucket there. Kurt Miller calls a timeout with 39 and 5 tenths left. And Miller said it. He, he talked about just how tough of a matchup this was for his team. Right? He, Atlanta pose, pose, poses so many threats. You got the lift on the wings that we've talked about. She got Parker underneath. But L.A., after being down double digits multiple times, close to getting the dub here tonight. Upcoming schedule here for L.A. Some much-needed time off, Allie. Neko Gumake saying that rest period probably more of a necessity now at this time of the year. They won't play again until a week from today to be a noon tip-off in Vegas. That one will be on ABC. They're back home on the 23rd against the Mercury. That'll be down the street at Galen Center. We'll have that one for you right here on Spectrum Sportsnet. They'll play these Dream again on the 25th, that one in Atlanta. So if the Sparks hold on here tonight, that game on the 25th will be for a split of the season series, which you never know how things may play out. Could be huge down the line. One thing's for sure, it may be a rebuild year but you can say that you've gotten just about everything every single time the Sparks have stepped on the floor. Can't say enough about Clarendon and Canada here tonight. Canada takes the inbound. Foul there by Robinson. 11 points each for Clarendon and Canada in the second half. And you felt every single one of them. And I, and I feel like it wasn't just on the offensive end. Their energy and tenacity defensively, especially to start the third, set a tone. The duo has combined for 34 points now with that make from Canada and 13 assists. <laughs> you know, those running joke around WNBA Twitter and WNBA circles beginning of the year about Kurt Miller loving his point guards. Well, when healthy, you kind of see why. And even when not healthy, because they, they were needed. Needed some for sure, as Robinson fouled on her way to the cup. Foul charge to Carly Samuelson. And how impressive has this been here tonight, Allie? Come back home. You mentioned it. East Coast road trip. Not easy to do. Quirky game time, 4.30, right? Don't have many of those around these parts. And truly against a team that's had your number. Yeah. From start to finish. You tip your cap to that preparation. Kurt Miller prides himself on. His staff. Getting his team ready to play. 
and the team answering the call. Foul against Parker in the backcourt. That'll be her fit. McDonald with 15 off the bench for Atlanta. Howard and Parker with 17 apiece. Those are the only two starters for the Dream in double figures. Ray Burrell going to return to the game. You look what LA has done the balance. Four players tonight. 15 or more points. And Canada. There goes the perfect game. She was 8 of 8 from the foul line. That her first miss tonight. Just the fourth miss at the stripe for the Sparks. For 24 of 28 from the line. Atlanta 22 of 24. It's been a very well played game from the free throw line on both ends. As Howard has that one spin out. And that's just sort of emblematic of the night for Ryan Howard tonight. Sparks fans rise to their feet. An impressive win here against the fifth seeded Atlanta Dream. Sparks win this one by double figures. 85-74 our final. And with the win, LA extends the winning streak to now three in a row. Hands the Dream its second straight loss. LA improves to 12 and 18. Dream fall to 500, 15 and 15 on the year. See the standings now after this one. Sparks just a half game behind the sky. Remember, Chicago owns the tiebreaker. And the Dream now fall a half game behind Dallas for that fourth spot. But all of a sudden, injuries upon injuries, adversity upon adversity, here come these Sparks knocking on the playoffs, Allie. You don't win championships. You don't play in the playoffs in May, in June. You want to peak at the right time. The Sparks feeling that healthy feel, the chemistry, the camaraderie.